on their way in, you might have to zip them up and just cut a little bit. Uh, but <laughs> Nonetheless, we are excited to have our elementary students here with us today to celebrate some of their victories from this last semester. Uh, last year got a little rocky in a couple of places trying to make these celebrations happen just because of time and hours in the day. Uh, but we are excited to be back into a fairly normal swing of things. I'm going to go ahead and thank Miss Kate uh, for the, the hours that she spends trying to get these certificates printed. Uh, and I want to thank all of your teachers for the time that they, the time and energy they put into making sure that you are successful as well. Can we clap for you, teachers? Uh, with that being said, we are here today to celebrate the victories of our littles. Uh, uh, Mr. Strand is going to start us off today and talk a little bit about what each of the awards are, uh, and then we'll start through the sixth grade and what they're doing there. Good afternoon, Norwood Mavericks. Excellent, excellent. Before I hand out any of the awards that I have here, I just want to take a moment to go through some of the awards that all the students, or all the classes will be presenting. Uh, the first one that we'll be presenting is the Mighty Maverick Award. And the Mighty Maverick Award goes to all the students who have been exhibiting our three R's, and I might need some help from some of my elementary friends. What is one of the R's that we have to practice? Apple, thank you. Respect, that's one of them. Jeremy. Uh, responsibility. Responsibility, that's another one. Wait, wait. Readiness. readiness, respect, responsibility, and readiness. And there's also an S, isn't there, Katie? And how about this? What is the S, everyone? Safety! So when our students come to school, we expect them to be responsible, ready, and safe. And now my mind, help me. There it is. We're always respectful. Uh, so that will be what our Mighty Maverick Award is all about. Today we are also going to be uh, awarding uh, an honor roll certificate to any student that achieved above a 3.0 on their report card for the first semester. That one's pretty straightforward. Um, we, in our reading, in our reading practice, we uh, we test them on Dibble's testing and we set benchmarks and we have these scores that we want the students to achieve on each grade level. And any student who today who receives the benchmark award from Dibbles, that just means that at this point in the year, they are where we expect them to be or beyond that. We are also going to be handing out some MAPS awards. MAPS is a standardized test that we take three times a year just to kind of gauge the progress that we've made along the year. And the two awards that we're going to be handing out today are the Achievement Award, which is for the student that scored the highest maps score in their class for math, and then one for reading, and then the, uh, the Growth Award. And we're looking at where did you start at the beginning of the year, and where are you now, and looking at who grew the most. Um, I hope I got all of those, and then at the end, I have a couple special awards that I'd like to get out if that's all right. Sixth graders, if you wouldn't mind rising and coming down here and making a line for me right here in front, we'll start with the sixth, sixth graders today. Sixth graders. Voice, if that's all right. This is your sixth grade class class of what year? <laughs> oh, we're 
we're gonna have to work on that. Uh, so the first one is the Mighty Mac Award, and of course, every student who participates in school daily and shows respect, responsibility, readiness, and safety will be receiving this award today. Uh, how about we award them and then we'll applause for everyone at the same time. Cooper Andrew, Danny, Danny. you're not voted. You're a And Sophia decided to skip the award ceremony. Weston, Mason, Kate, and Kara, and Booker, and JD. Thank you very much. Please give a round of applause. Excellent. The next award that I would like to give is for making the honor roll. Weston Elwood, 4.0. Cooper Andrews, 3.71. Mason Harris, 3.71.
<laughs> so for the Mighty Mavericks, for our first place students, I have a certificate for Jared, Gage, Yari, Yari, Ian. Would you like to go first? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and Miss Chloe. Trey is not here. Jeremy. And Hadley and Tina. Let's hear it for your fifth grade line. Alright. I mentioned this when I first announced the awards, but we didn't have them for the sixth graders because the sixth graders no longer attract on our dimples. Um, but again, this is a reading benchmark, and where we expect these kids to be, all of these kids are about to receive an award for meeting the Dibbles benchmark. Judah Baker, Jaren, Yari, Jeremy, Cooper, Adam, Ian, Nina, let's give a round of applause. And on to your honor roll, students. Judith Baker. Hadley Snyder. Cooper Moreland. Jared. Tell me how to say it. C. That's all. Jared C. Nina, Chloe, and Ian. Very nice. All right. Going back to that dibbles, we did recognize in each grade the student who showed the most growth from the beginning until the end. And for the dibbles in the fifth grade goes to Hadley Snyder. Now I get to give out some awards for maps versus reading in growth. This student grew 13 points from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, and that actually is almost double what we were anticipating. Jerry C. scored a 224 Cooper Moreland. I'm going to skip this one for a second because this one I'm real proud of too. I'm proud of both of these, but I want to say that one for this. For the high achievement in mathematics with a 239 Cooper Moreland. hope that they grow from the mid beginning into the middle about seven this student in mathematics grew 24 points Chloe Sherman how about one last round of applause for our fifth grade uh, fourth graders
for following the three R's. We have Allie, Brody, Levi, Brayden, Amanda, Anastasia, Max, Max Hayden. Lexi, who is also absent. Jamo. Ember. Zara. And Mackenzie.
today. In general, it's just not a very big class, but they're very really powerful and they're super fun. And I'm very lucky to get to have taught them two years in a row. So, we're going to start out with the Mighty Maverick Board.
them, and they were only one point apart, and they were so large we just couldn't decide. So, um, the most highest growth for double score with a growth of 75 points was Wayland Allen. Maps 
for reading was Alexa Meehan with a score of 193. Our highest score in math goes to Zoe with a score of 188. What? Our growth score for math in reading goes to Lacey Weitzel and she grew 25 points. And last, our growth score in math goes to Serena Wade, and she grew 28 points. All right, give it up for first grade. Benchmark. And then 
to help support our students in math. And, and the biggest thing that we came back with is, if our students were fluent with their math facts, which is, you know, how do I add three and five, and how do I minus five from three, or three from five, and how do I multiply, and how do I divide, if they have those facts fluently memorized, it makes math class for them and us so much easier. Because as we get into the higher grades, they're doing really complex math. And if you have to stop and take 10 minutes to remember what nine times eight is, you're probably gonna forget actually the problem that you're doing. So we kicked off this mathathon here to kind of help us uh, get these kids going in the right direction on their math facts. And hopefully some of you at home are able to help your students. Um, I have a lot of rewards here. We have a lot of students that participated in this program. When I set out, I hope to raise $1,000. And the elementary students here raised four thousand one hundred dollars. But I think even more important than that is there was so much growth. This stack of awards here represents every student that participated by raising money and showed growth. Um, I'm going to just walk this way and I'm going to hand them out and then we'll give a round of applause at the end. Um, Annabelle Donnellan. Annabelle Donnellan grew 700%. Oh, wow. Wow. Haley Hardman. Woo! Wyatt. Wyatt Colby. Nice job. Zoe, where you at, Zoe? Alexa, where you at? There's your Elise, where you at? There you go. Oh, and this one is a Snyder. <laughs> Logan, another Snyder. Where you at, Logan? There you are. Lacey. Woo. I saw Lacey. Amber Alexander. Where you at? Hi. Not here. Meadow Baker. Hi. Meadow Baker is over here. Thank you, Meadow. Waylon Donnellan. Where you at, Wayne? <laughs> Devin. There you go, buddy. Hunter Griffith. Oh, here. Out of here. Emma. 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 There's two Emmas. How many? Just only two or three? Journey. There's only one journey, right? Yeah. Uh, Murphy, where you at, buddy? Jacob. Calvary's hey, not here. Hazel, thank you. Mackenzie Alexander, not here. Zara, go ahead and pass that back to Zara. Ember's oh. there. Hey, pass that back for me, Ember. Jameson. Lexi Bray. Saren Carver. Apple Davis. Hayden, Max, Max left, Evan? Yeah. Yes. I'm right. I'm getting. I know where you go. Savannah. Uh, 
Levi Snyder is a fourth grader who grew 350%. That was really big growth. Allison, uh, help me pass these up, please. Judah, right behind you back there. And Cooper, right next to Judah. And Cooper Andrews. Lakota. Xander. Weston. Hey, what about Lily? Yes. Mason. Kara Ingram. Where are you at, Kara? Pass that up for Kara. Thank you. Booker. Back up behind you. Amber. Anybody? Uh, that's. Amber Blair, I know, gets one. Amber, hold on to that, and I'll get you a real one, I promise. Oh, then give me that back. Stop trying to get to me. <laughs> give it back. Everyone that just received one of these awards, will you please stand? Hey, uh, what about Lily? Let's give a round of applause. I will say um, that this was my first year doing this, actually doing out of school, and I didn't do a 100% great job of tracking. I tracked the students that were raising money, but every single student uh, participated in the pre-assessment and the post-assessment, and I know that there are several more students that showed growth. Um, looking forward to doing the Mathathon again next year, for sure. I have just one more award. This one, I know we've been waiting for. Uh, I've been so excited for today, which is surprising because it's a Friday and we normally get Fridays off, and I'm about to give away $200. $200. So, seven years ago, I decided to start using a program called Khan Academy with my own children. Um, and it's something that you all can get your children to do at home. Once they learn how to do it, they can do it on their own. And I found a lot of success with this program. Um, and what I started to do about five years ago is I said, you know what? Anyone who can finish their grade level will get $200. And I was in Bridgeway when I was teaching, and I had a year where there were four students there. And when I got home, my wife said, maybe you should change the price just a little bit. So I had to drop the price. And now that Mr. Ryan has me teaching three grades, I might need to augment that price a little bit. But can I have a few students come on down here? Uh, Cooper Morlane, Judah Baker, Lexi Bray, and Jacob. Would you mind coming on down here? If anyone is intrigued by Khan Academy, please feel free to reach out to me. I would love to show you how to use it so you can help your children at home. Just to brag a little bit, and I've been using it with my kids for the last seven years, and both my children are on ALPs. My son is a fourth grader, and he sits in a sixth grade math class. I've used it for the last two years with Lexi Bray. Not only did she finish third grade, she finished fourth grade, and this year she is in my fifth grade class and has already finished fifth grade Khan Academy. I can't say it enough. The program works. It really, really, truly works. My daughter said, why would you give away so much money? You know, it takes a lot for teachers to get their kids to want to achieve. And these kids right here, they did it because they want to. And that's what we're looking for. We want kids who want to achieve. And if it means to shout out a couple dollars to get them to see what wanting will produce, I'll give out more than $50, I really will. Um, I would like to make some uh, notable mentions. In the sixth grade, the sixth grade curriculum is very, very big. I have two sixth graders that I am sure will pass 
And now that the rest of that sixth grade class sees what's happening with Khan Academy, I think we might have three or four more. So come back in the spring if you want to see me give out more money. One more round of applause. One more round of applause. And before we go today, can I ask all of our staff that serve all of these littles to stand up quickly, please? All of our staff. Yes, you do. students, I want you to look around the room. Every one of the adults that just stood up are the teachers that are here for you or your parents that work with you every single day. Can we celebrate them just a little bit? Make some noise for your teachers. them after you uh, so that we don't have a traffic jam in the middle. <laughs> uh, so I'll let you go uh, and then I'll let the kids out shortly. Right after.